Alright, hello and welcome back to Valhalla. Um, this is starting a new recording session. I turned down the game volume a little bit because I think the music was a bit too loud. Well, not all the songs, just the remix of Base of the Titans, because I love that song and it's loud. Um, also, I watched, I went back and watched the first episode when we talked to the girl that came out of the TV. Her name was Anna, or Anna, however you want to say it. So she is a different character from anybody we've interacted with, so... I don't know what that is, but, um, we just got back from the break, so, and this was happening, so, Jill is humming or something to herself. Oh, she's picking the music again. Um, I will not play Bass of the Titans, <laughs> because, again, it's really loud. Let's just do this again. I'll probably just keep this now. Yeah, like, the... Remix of the bass and nice, I think it was way too loud, so I adjusted the audio a little bit. So hopefully it's better. I think I've also I also turned my mic up a little bit. Like a tiny bit maybe, I'm not sure. Ah, <laughs> oh, boss, you're back. Hello Donna. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything alright. They keep mentioning BTC was I forget what BTC is. Oh, everything alright. As right as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Uh, Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is f was uh, while the paperwork is filed and everything is being put in order. Only for a few months, though. I was also talking to him about you, about me. <laughs> yeah, I was telling uh, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. That's nice. If possible, to resign you ASAP after closing. That's sweet. If it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. Uh, they want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches. Um, what about Gil? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that's been working here. What? Uh, the one who bought a levitation potion and threw himself off a building? The levitate use weird euphemisms, Bo Boz. What did, did he mean he just killed himself, or what? Did he fly away? What does that mean? Anyway, I find it hard to believe that uh, Gil will find a job after all of this. Just who is Gil? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. <laughs> Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. That's strange. You guys do know I can hear you. <laughs> Poor Gilgan. This place looks familiar. Who's this? Hi. Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? It is indeed, welcome to Valhalla. Oh god, what a safe planning now. Excuse me. Uh, I want a drink whose name has changed after many women protested. That's the piano woman, right? Uh... Because... It says... Is there any called pretty woman, but too many people complain that it should be piano woman if there's a piano man? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five... Aged mixed. Here you go. Very nice, thanks a lot. Also, who says that? Just say the name of it. Don't give your bartender a fucking quiz. What an asshole. Uh, you, so, you know, say. I forget who say is. Have we talked to say before? It sounds familiar. Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Uh, yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yep, in fact, I'm glad you know her, because she left this here last time. Oh, it's the, uh, Valkyrie. Oh, god, she left her helmet behind again. Not the first time, huh? Yeah, okay, that's, uh, that was the Valkyrie. Got it. Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. <laughs> three. What? Uh, valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. <laughs> and she's been lucky enough to always look at people who return it, at least. Um, yeah, Say mentioned that she had, like, a friend that liked bars more than she did, because she didn't- she said that she didn't really drink that often. Whoa, quite a few people. Say as much as a social girl as she is a total klutz. Uh, at least when she's not being serious, she's very competent, uh, competent, and when she puts her minds to it. I see. So did you rec- did she recommend you this place, or we're being here today? Uh, I can see why she chose this place. It's kind of the place she likes. What does that mean? Uh, say, is that, uh, Kira Mickey's photo autograph? It's in the glasses of conversation starter. Nice. Uh, yeah, it is. How'd you get it? She just came in. Yeah, she stopped here yesterday just before the concert. Really? I guess she went. <laughs> I mean, 
She did. Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep, that Starlux signature is hers. Uh, so your name is Jill then. Yep. Ain't that nice. Why? Here you go. Oh, she just gave her- I thought she was giving- she just gave back the glass. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Uh, whenever you hear your songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. Uh, I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Jesus. Uh, luckily, I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello, where the hell are you? <laughs> Car crash. Oh, you're helping. Uh, she's talking to Say, I guess. Will it take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it with Say? Yeah. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. When that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. That was just the piano man, right? Uh, I thought it was like... They mentioned that it was like created for... Um... Yeah, it should be this. Because they mentioned it earlier. It doesn't say here, but they mentioned that it was named after... The guy who's created it, his best friend was like a piano player that died. I always forget this. I don't know why I always fucking forget the flingerine. Did I get that right? Uh, yeah. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Nice. Thank you. Why just? Why can't you just say what you want? Don't be a dick about it. Uh, it's about my eye, isn't it? No, it's not. Or at least I don't think so. Uh, I don't get. Uh, to see so many cat boomers. So it's something that make cat boomers. What does that mean? A uh, disgusting procedure because of a disease or because of the fad. What? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. So it had to be done, otherwise, I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. I'm sorry if I overstep. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. I don't. Oh, can you, like, choose to be a cat girl? But why would... I don't know. Or the eye. I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> you seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I guess I've read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. Uh, but the colors, the stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their designs. It sounds a bit silly when I say that out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything? Actually, yeah. I started my grandpa's collection. I've been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I managed a little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, alright? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody I don't tend to drink much. I see. Oh, here she is. Took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, I got caught in rush hour traffic too and figured walking here might be faster. Lucky there was a building with emergency stairs nearby and I climbed down. Climbed down. Took an air cab. Oh, uh, what, you jump out on top of a building? I was just using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety, I oh, don't know, flying cars are just way cooler. <laughs> so I don't understand how they don't get motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Oh, you still get sick. Uh, anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. Uh, I'd like a drink that was... You got it again, you and your cryptic orders was leaving us with weird stuff. Exactly. Expect only the best from whoever serves me. They need to be able to answer these kind of orders. So I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out here with that kind of stuff. She's in quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Uh, please order something normal, would you? Two fringe weavers. Uh, yeah. You have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. Uh, well, a calf. Yeah, what is your, like... I don't know. She's just weird. She doesn't, like, understand basic things. I don't know. Two. Nine carrots, you mean? Jesus. It's like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Jesus, yeah, it is. It's nine... I should just sleep. Uh, age mixed. Then... Yeah, I remember last time when I had two orders, I messed it up somehow, and I don't remember how. There. Two fringe weavers. So, it's you, and this one's for me. So, do you want to do whatever I asked for, right? Do that way. Oh, that way. You could have said so, really. Yeah, she doesn't have, She doesn't understand my like, common sense. I remember when I did uh, Dorothy and Kano. <laughs> I messed it up somehow. I don't know how I did, though. Oh, yeah, here. So this is where I left my helmet, thanks. Uh, you really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. 
uh, the spare should be saved for when uh, the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. This helmet's costing money, you know? Yeah, sorry. Uh, should I say that boss got her head stuck because of a jammed button? You should, it's funny. Uh, speaking of money, you're still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow. Yep, you worried? I'd refrain for now. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that wasn't. Don't be, you'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They said something might happen at the bank tomorrow. With all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. Oh, is that what Steve Harvey mentioned with the... Is it the fear mongering was enough that people have also started spreading baseless rumors? The CSA had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Yeah, Steve Harvey said that. Was it the hacker? Or was it just some assholes that were like saying that they were going to do something tomorrow? Everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. There's orders from the higher-ups. Uh, tell me something. Some, if somebody came after me, do you think they stand a chance? Quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself, but be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what, after I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can vent all your frustrations. Alright. Uh, seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You come and say? Now I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then, take care. Bye. Uh, worry wart. Nice. That means she cares about you. Never doubted. <laughs> uh, say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Oh yeah, she mentioned she had to buy bacon for it. Not that I mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? I must have grabbed in one of the ingredients. Let's see. Do you believe that all the stuff about tension is grown in the uh, anarchist group trying to span the White Knights? Yeah, that's what Steve Harvey was saying. But I tell you the truth, I am a bit worried. Uh, even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Some even say that the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. So always says the White Knights are just glorified mall securities. Um, she says that it's been proven beyond a doubt that there's some shady business going on. Oh god, the Zaibatsu Corps main branch would uh, separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Something about the associates' fear of bad PR results in them moving to the BCC. Sounds plausible. I, I guess, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I never, I really like my job. I heard that is never like my job. Uh, and I guess a uh, similar fear exists among the upper ranks, slightly they seem restless. Too much politics. Hurt my brain. <laughs> I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. Nice. Uh, what are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel managed to relay some information to the manager, and I was picked because he trusted me. Uh, well, you said you're such a simpleton that you never give the wrong message, but it's his intention that counts. Oh. Uh, finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. Hi, Dorothy. We are friends from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing other clients. Oh, come on. You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. Yeah, we only give one person that, like, a time, honestly. It's uncommon to see you uh, two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you should say. Uh, hey, are you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Well, yes, thank you. Oh, well, why? Honey, you should follow her example and not for me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Uh, then I've got the perfect thing from the Blue Fairy. One for both. One for each. Alright. Two Blue Fairies. That was, this interaction is strange. Two, three. Uh, optional character mean. I, I never really add character mean when it says optional. This is gonna be a weird interaction, I already know it is. Uh, three, two fairies. Yeah, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue, like your hair. Yep, it is. So, what's your name, sweetie? Say. Alright, say, I'm Dorothy. Say, say. Yes, yes. Say say. Yes, yes. Say say. The hell is going on? Say say. Say. Why did you just buy me a drink? What the hell is going on? I just thought you were as cute as a button and I wanted you uh and I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer a drink without having an alternative motive. And that includes fuckboy over there. Why do they keep calling him fuckboy? <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. Uh, the look in your face is the one that simply uh, sees no point in lying. 
coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so uh, married to your job that sex is, is uh, too far down your priority list and notice its existence. So if you invite me to drink because you found me cute, and that's the extent I believe you. Thank you. What also, say is just... I still think that's something the problem will say. I just can't pick up the social cues, dude. <laughs> you say she's the first one, but what about... Uh, but Deal giving you a ticket the other day. Who? Oh yeah, the Willem with dogs. Well, that's how the dog is, the Willem bought him in. And no, he doesn't count. He'll take a hum humanoid mat? What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> you seem very protective, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with the things you shouldn't even have. What does that mean? Your tongue is a BEB069 with DNA skin capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium, ultra-flexible variety, and the most important, your hands. But what about them? I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes, the tawny joints and skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIDER113 of reality industries. Does she classify bullets from its fingertips? <laughs> so... Uh, Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmented Modification Law on the Topic of Ballistic Augmentations. Any humanoid or symphonic creature under civilization designation that has any upgrade of its partner's body, told firearms a Class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. What are you gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> so she could just shoot out of her hands? I'm not in law enforcement, so I just do rescue. And even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Uh oh. Uh, I want to know though, why go through with those upgrades? Or girls gotta take care of herself now. So you shoot fin- you shoot out of your fingers. <laughs> she can literally do the finger guns. Uh, I'm gonna be able to deal with the things that they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you're also a robot. So does that mean you can just like hit people very, very hard? Also, the more I think about it, you're a robot who's a prostitute. How does that like- Why- how? I feel like it would be painful. Okay, then it kind of gave you some advice, I guess. The reason I could tell it's, uh, it's not your default model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You could get a small mod that changes them to disposable tips. Same when they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. I see. Well, I've got to go. I guess another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs once it once itself is... Wait. If you aim for the arms or legs once it's self-defense, anything more is assault. Yeah. Uh, bye Dorothy, bye Jill. Bye bye. Please come again. <laughs> I thought she was going to take me away. Uh, they would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years. What does that mean? Uh, two happy hey well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask about what... DNA reading ton. Yeah, it's a... Uh, very pre into into to Uh, very... I don't even know what that means. Intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints. Do you really need to ask? No, I don't. Yeah, this one's I'm asking, though. No. Anti-radiation. My skin's the first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. Radiation, though. Uh, and it makes it feel so soft no matter how much it gets battered. Huh. Uh, so you fancy yourself a uh, divine or reading people and all? Uh, not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis, I guess. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a woman. Uh, what do you say about me then? <laughs> oh god, let's see. <laughs> you're very, very, very sexually frustrated. <laughs> it's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's, a, there's even a deeper frustration, something that happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know won't return your feelings. Maybe they were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog who's owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. Oh, that was just rubbish. I was just because I was saying it's 80, 80, it's right 80% of the time. A generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am, but if you let me satisfy your frustrations, I can stall for more some time. To go, yeah. Fine, fine. Bye bye, honey. She always calls me honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far away. One wonder how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuck. Why do they keep calling him fuckboy? <laughs> he seems cool. Oh, hey, Donna. Everything done? Yeah. Hey, boss, this might seem random, but do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Uh, well, for some reason, I've been hung up on since this morning, and I just realized why. 
Okay, the message that welcomed me back was Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jar. What? The message that welcomed me back when was Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my hand in it and it got stuck. It was a French jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Why do you get stuck in so many things? <laughs> uh, hey Gil, how did you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, clever solution. Why the straw? What does a straw do? Yeah, that brings me uh, to the random thought. That instant, the helmet yesterday. The many times that your foot got stuck on something you're stomping for. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Yeah, that's what I asked the same thing. Huh. Now you mentioned, I remember this one time she tried to get a, a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. That I don't know why, but that's like a huge fear of mine, of like my jaw getting like locked. It happened because um, there was an episode of America's Got Talent where like, it was like I'm a just like a daredevil kind of dude or whatever and he he had like his assistant put an apple in her mouth like a whole ass apple and he like carved it with a chainsaw but afterwards her jaw got locked so she couldn't move it and the doctor and a doctor had to come in and pop it back into place ever since then i always like freak out eating like an apple or something i don't know why but it freaks me out so much just the idea of it <laughs> i don't know why uh, then there was an incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand uh, should have labeled their Z and S better. Uh, you saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the 5Z one. Still, Jill's on to something here. Yes, she is. Now go clean the dishes. You can leave for today. She didn't answer the questions. I like to think she'll make an effort not to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. She didn't answer the question. Everything will and turn out alright in the end, don't worry. Donna's a cool boss. She's nice. Uh, renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. That's cool. I still want to know what the shining finger it is. Uh, oh. It says happy, like, not birthday. Is it Jill's birthday? You really like, I have, if you really like that website, huh? I have needs. Is it a, I don't know. It sounds like a porn site. <laughs> What's going on this? More Alice Rabbit? Oh, Nikki. Uh, no shit posting allowed. Do you think Anne left? I think so, never left. Okay, so that's the same one. No update. Oh, Alice Rabbit might be a Karamiki fan. That's nice. Um. It says I don't have any, like, uh. Uh, more things coming up to buy. So let's go to the shop then. Uh, the beer discount. Hmm. Let's just get a gaming console. Um, I'm still gonna keep 800 just in case. Yeah. I go back. Uh, so she can't new soon. Yep, she had no problems today. Uh, that the game console? It's just not like a cardboard box. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Let's go back to work. Good evening. Hello. Is that a shot? Seems like you made it just in time. I think that's. Okay, okay. <laughs> really, it sounded more like a gunshot to me. It sounded like a gunshot. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well. See, it sounds more like a car exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Oh, boss. Firecrackers? Yep, a couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual Mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, I sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever, this is uh, not a morning talk show. You know a lot about how gunshots sound in Gilligan, do you? <laughs> uh, not paying you to chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourselves. Uh, right, uh, we shouldn't lose time over. Cars gazost. Hey, <laughs> still going. Alright. Um, probably should just leave it. Leave it the same. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Well, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? Uh, tell me about girl Nick and Crimson Rose. Sounds like a tacky online handle. Well, the tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have $80 here that might refresh your memory. 
Not that you mentioned it, I remember something, really. Yeah, now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whoever you're talking about. <laughs> nothing at all, nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender not having any info I need. Well, first of all, uh, why well, assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does the girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, uh, any second you're not going to get anywhere. In second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? <laughs> yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why'd you call me a sucker, sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? <laughs> Wait, of course. You want all deals to be clean, so you need to spend money on the bar. Uh, that's how it works, right? I need money. You give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. I genuinely don't know what you're talking about, dude. Okay, then, but keep it under 80 $80 drink? Yeah, everything's like over a hundred. Oh, this one. Cup punch. He said under, but I want to try to just do all of it. Uh. Here. here. Okay, they didn't know anything about the girl? Nope. <laughs> but you said maybe, maybe not. Turns out it's maybe not. <laughs> You're the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. Like I said, $80 is nothing. <laughs> So I need to spend more. I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why? You order is right, isn't it? I guess. So why are you looking for that girl, mister? Uh, Von Dearly. Art Von Dearly. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. So I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy island stalker. You're assuming the girl that I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. Uh, she's half of the so-called Reapers of the city. Uh, two guns for hire that work for whoever is resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Uh, Crimson Rose and Colbat Lily, they call themselves. They still sound like teenagers' internet nicknames. They sure do. So who wanted you to track her? I don't know, I got a letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have money, so what do I care? It is, we just spent some money here. <laughs> Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, I'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. So, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to a girl. Why do you need them? So it's good to keep up the local going on. So, uh, let's see. Uh, sorry, I can't think of anything right now. Most of the conversations here aren't r rumor worthy. Uh, humor worthy, maybe, but not much about current events, at least. Not beyond what you see on the news. Damn, what kind of bar is it if you can't gather the world of a street? What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? Uh, you might not know something if you're so fixed there and find some kind of information. I know what you're talking about. Uh, do you know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. Now I thought all the noise BTC bars uh, have made lately would be useful or something. No ways, what noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. Uh, you'll find out soon enough, don't worry. About the closing? In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? Grizzly Temple. Sure. This dude's an asshole. Yeah, this was fucking 220. You're gonna spend all that? Jesus. Everything's so expensive. I'm assuming we just, like inflation or some shit is being simulated. I don't know. I don't know how far into the. That felt way longer than five seconds. I don't know why. Uh, here. Okay, then this is going to be redacted from the 80 from earlier, right? Nope. Fine. Come on, that has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard about is a girl who threw herself off the roof at a nearby wall. That's not a good thing. And the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Oh, maybe that is good. Kind of. Besides rumors that the harbinger is looking to call trouble at a bank today. No, not really. Damn it. Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name of the harbingers wasn't used. No glitch city outlet has reported that about themselves. The rumors that someone is some or something is keeping them silent. Even the, the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. 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 I need to look at it again. They're really acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. So either one of them or somebody in uh, in the know told you about it. Well, he can be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, uh, Steve Harvey was in here for the last three days actually. Really. I wonder if you'll notice the glass the idol signed. 
I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but I guess not. Do he talk to you about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple days ago, dealing with messy interns, part for the course, really, and being a sexual uh, assaulter, basically. <laughs> I see, I see, that's... Gunshot. It's a backfire. Firecrackers. <laughs> What do you think that sound just now was? Something like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy, come on, it's not even close. It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you can clearly hear the crashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what the sound was. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. There's some gain spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Which means gunshots. That's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've got to go. Seems coming up with a waste of time after all. Really. Uh, really, I just have different needs. Different needs. Uh, but there will be come a time where this place might help me. Goodbye. Please come again. No, don't come again. Dude's an asshole, right? Gains, then. Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. Uh, there's always been a neutral and important third party in other games deals. The who, what now? I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. Uh, he left me thinking about the whole noise from the BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering. Ooh. Don't take my word for it though. I see. Guess I'll find out soon enough. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. I usually do it between breaks, but this was kind of a weird segment, so I'll end the episode here. Um, this was episode five, I think. I think. I don't know. <laughs>